Good evening. My name is Brother Herman from MakeEmSeeTheTruth.org Ministries. Inside of Make Em See The Truth, spelled M-A-I-K-U-M-C, period, D-E-T-R-U-T-H, 1739 at gmail.com is our email. Dot org would be the website once we get it up and running. But for the time being, you can use the email and let us know how we're doing. Again, that is M-A-I-K-U-M-C, period. D E T R U T H one seven three nine at gmail dot com. Inside of make em see the truth dot org, we have established and created something called Herman's Sermons. And within these sermons are teaching tools for the people of this world who really are getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. And they're looking for something that's a little bit higher than themselves such as a higher power. And in our case, that would be the Jehovah Jireh, uh, Yahweh, the Father God of us all, a creator of us all. And that'd be our Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Triune Trinity. Now, in part one or series one, we entitled that the Ministry of Reconciliation because we spoke about Jesus and his coming down to earth, putting on flesh, coming down to earth to buy us back from our arch enemy, that would be Satan. Now we want to talk about a little bit about God's soil for growth. Inside of God's soil for growth, we can find humility. We're going to need some humility to be inside as an ingredient in our faith walk, in our foundation for the belief of our faith in Jesus and his ministry of reconciliation. So we're going to start this teaching tool off to show you exactly what we believe humility looks like. And it says God is love. And Father God first loves all of his children, all whom believe in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And thereby he calls us to love the Holy Godhead as well as one another. That is the first and second commandments, the great commandments. However, one must first become humbled before he or she becomes capable of living, of loving the Holy Godhead as well as our neighbors, including our family and ourselves. Think about that. Without love, you can do nothing because God is love. Because the call to love comes through humility. Humility can be perceived as God's soil for human growth. Once we've been humbled, which is to go through a process, with the result leaving us selfless, rather than the way we be all began, which is the selfish state of, of existence, we are then made capable to love the way our Lord Jesus commands. Now, there are degrees of love, obviously. There's agape, which is how God loves us. That's the unconditional. Simply means unconditionally. We have the strange, which is another word for describing a parent or child type of love. We also have the philia, which can mean a brotherly or neighborly type of love. Or eros, another title describing our worldly intimate types of love. This is also the root word found in erotica and ecstasy. Therefore, since God gave us different kinds or degrees of love, and he commands us to love him, the father of all, with all our hearts, minds, souls, our bodies, our strengths, otherwise known as the agape degree, we will find that more of Jesus' graces are needed in order to become capable of fulfilling this command. That's why Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. And no man gets to the Father except through the Son. That will be Jesus. None of us are starting out being capable of loving. None of us. Without conditions. Without conditions. So we can't. We didn't start out being able to love agape style. I believe we started out loving with conditions, and agape is loving unconditionally. So Jesus' grace 
also known as his character trait, becomes necessary for loving unconditionally. These include faith, gentleness, meekness, kindness, temperance, patience, long-suffering, goodness, and charity, which is another word for love. If we were to look in God's word, which is the basic instructions before leaving earth, the Bible, at Galatians 5, through 25, we will find the fruits of Holy Spirit, which is nothing more or nothing better put than the character traits of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus' grace. Each of these character traits will become known as God's soil. Uh, uh, ingredients God's uh, soil for growth each one of these I will speak on but for now we're going to touch on humility each of these character traits brings a lengthy process and by humility we must choose to submit ourselves by accepting Jesus' path designed for us by our Father God and Holy Spirit will then empower our wills or our spirit men to commit ourselves to God's plan for our lives, okay? So before you become selfless, you were selfish. It was all about you, kind of like a narcissistic type person. At least I was. But with Jesus, it becomes selfless instead of selfish because it's no longer about Herman. Now it's about God's will, not Herman's will. Upon making it through each process, a negative character trait is replaced with a positive fruit of Holy Spirit. Hence, the end result allows us to be, behave more godly and also more righteously towards one another. Also, as an end result, we become capable to love Holy Godhead unconditionally as well as other, each other in ourselves as our Lord Jesus loves us. Where do we see that at? John, I believe, 13... 35, 34 through 35, he says, uh, Behold, I give you another commandment. And it says, No longer will you love yourself, your neighbors as though you love yourselves. You will love your neighbors as though I have loved you. Why, Jesus? That's what I asked him, and this was the answer that he gave. He said, Because what if you don't love yourself enough? Well, if I don't love myself enough, I won't be able to love my neighbor the way he wants me to love my neighbor. And we'll talk about how you love someone who despitefully uses you and persecutes you a little bit later on. But it is possible. Out of God's soil of humility, watered by our decision to surrender our respective to our respective higher power, which is the Father God had most, the Holy Trinity, sprouted a faith and trusting ability in someone else's ways for journeying through this thing we call life. And as growing evidence of our changed behaviors, more graces are added unto our characters. And it can clearly be witnessed by mankind, those of of around us, therefore ending our old defeating selfish ways of merely existing through life and providing us a new much more better way for truly living. Again, I said we're going to replace merely existing through life because without God, that's all we're doing is existing through life. Without Jesus' character, all we're doing is selfishly existing through life because we cannot truly live until we die to self huh, and let Jesus live through us. Hmm? His character has to resonate, has to become a light, which is our duty, our whole duty. And that can be found in Ecclesiastes 12, the last two or three verses, I think it's 13 through 12 through 14. So, it is only when our selfish pride transitions into selfless humility we are made capable to fulfill the first two commandments of God's law. When we become selfless, no more the my way or the highway attitude or approach through existence, we become capable to love unconditionally. 
And this is truly living according to God, not Brother Herman. When we are truly living instead of merely existing, instead of merely existing, we also become capable of making better decisions from our life choices during our respective journeys. Thus, as a clear and undisputed result from the soil of humility came the abilities necessary and vital for breaking all chains of bondage, including our additions. Thank you for your time. I hope that each one of our teaching tools found in Herman's sermons up under the heading of makeemseethetruth.org will become helpful in your journey, your respective journey, so that you may be able to wrap your head around each one and be able to teach one. This has been another presentation, another Herman sermon by Brother Herman. Once again, if you didn't get catch the email in, in the beginning, it is make them see the truth 1739 at gmail.com. Have yourself a great rest of your night and may God bless us all.